Um, can you tell us more about the cultural food in Cape Town and where is it derived from? For me, the cultural food in Cape Town is mostly, mostly coming from our forefathers and my grand, my parents, and what we, they taught us to eat, what we, they've given us to eat. And we grew up with bridis and biryanis and acnes and carries, the traditional stuff, and um, with the roast and the chicken and all that. But, but the, the bridis, I would say, is mostly cultural, the um, blonquil and the quill fricadelle. And then also the um, tomato, the tomato food. That's very, that's a very popular food as well. And where it all come from is for, uh, it's basically what our forefathers taught us, what our grandparents, even my parents, to eat and cook for them, and they've given it on to us. And now, uh, hopefully, I'm giving it on to my children, passing it on from generation to generation. All the breedies and the curries and the briannies and. And um, why have you chosen the Boboti recipe specifically today for uh, what, what is the significance of it being it being Heritage Day? For me the significance is it is such a multicultural dish. It comes from it's from the time of the Dutch that the Dutch came to Cape Town and they brought it like plain and then the Malaysians, Indonesians and Javas came with the spices and we made it uniquely our own and I think it's such a it's like the rainbow nation you get such a different variety of babuotis as well so each um, nation or each um, culture in Cape Town has got its own way of making it and for me the spices that's what makes it uniquely Cape Malay. 